you already know a bunch of tricks. Now it's time to talk about magic. Hello, everybody. Today we have. Uh, you don't have to. You, you don't. Don't drink while you are talking. Or while the water will fall. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean. I know. So, oh, now I'm. Why why? Pero me acabo de mear en los pantalones. Okay, let's begin, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Today we have a uh, Sandro here in the room. Today is a very serious interview. Of course. Okay. Um. Very. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew is an, uh, well. Let's let me take this out. Oh, oh. 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 sorry, Andrew. Perdóname. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No problem. No problem. I'm used to it. No problem. No problem. This is very elegant magic. I learned this trick from Fred Caps. <laughs> <laughs> The, those are the real teeth that Fred Cap used. The, the same one. <laughs> the yes, yes. They have the flavor. The, the flavor. Yes. This is the one that Watt found in the on the table near his bed, in the in a glass. <laughs> oh. So he was using this one oh. for sure. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Handro. Yeah! 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 Oh yeah! Let's hold up! Hello! Hola, Hey! If you like my content and the interviews that I'm doing and all the videos, don't forget to get notified. How? Well, subscribing and cast a like. That way you get notified and you help me a lot. So let's continue with the amazing interview with Andro. Andro, the first time you appear on Full Ass was yes. uh, in season fifth, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, I remember because I was going, I, I was there for my second we, time. We met, we, we met, met, I think, at the gym. At the gym? At the gym. It, it's incredible because I never go to a gym. <laughs> well, <laughs> me neither. It's more incredible because neither you and me never In a go gym? To the In gym. Las Vegas. It, it's, that's yes. magic. It, it's impossible. <laughs> was something really really crazy yes, i yes. was there and then you appeared there and was like <laughs> what because we didn't knew that we were there in the same hotel the same day or anything and was yeah. really that was totally magical and impossible yeah. and what the fuck okay andrew how are you good good to do that. here and, i am in the gym you know working out <laughs> yeah as always you know of course ah. of course <laughs> and well can i ask you are you, you can have whatever you can have whatever you want. Are uh, you uh, working now for? Are, are you a counselor of? I I, of them? I work with Penn and Teller with with them. We we create material together. We work on on ideas. But are you during the filming of the show? No. No, I work now this week. I've been there ten days working with them. I work in the other season in all the tricks. And in the other before also, uh, I go like twice a year there to Vegas to be with them. And then before full as last time, we were like three weeks by Zoom doing the rehearsals and pitching ideas and details. And um, that, that's how now we are working on 20 new bits, 20 new magic tricks. Wow. So, um... 
Are you researching new tricks? Are you putting up building new tricks for them? I, 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 I know that. <laughs> Yes, yes, you can, you can ask. Uh, no, 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 that if, if uh, I, I, I want to, to know more, of course, yeah. about, no, about uh, how they work. And I think it's interesting uh, for everybody. I, I, I've created some before working of, on them, uh, with them. I, I, I thought, I thought an idea, I thought it was good, but I couldn't do it because it was for two persons. So I, I told them they loved the idea. I explained it and they loved it. They did it in the live show. They did it on full ass. They did it. It was a gift. I, I'm not going to do it. So why not do it? Then I had another idea I, I love uh, called Waka Teller. They are doing it in the live show. They've done it on full ass. And another ideas, uh, I've pitched other ideas to them. But normally they, they have the idea and I solve problems or we do brainstorming three hours, four hours to, to try to come up to polish the, the tricks. Because of my background, I, 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 I know a little bit of magic, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of TV. And so, so I, 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 I'm, uh, I, and I've had to develop many tricks in very little time. So we get along very well. We get along very well. And we are on the same page, everyone. Uh, Do you so feel now... more pressure? Do you feel no. more pressure uh, now than before when you no. were working here on no. TV in Spain? No, no, because the pressure is on them. <laughs> I have no pressure. <laughs> I go there. This time, the ideas were most of them were there that we have to develop them. Uh, what I like about them is they, they they normally go for an idea, and that's what I really like. They don't go for a trick or for a technique. They, they have an idea and, and an image, uh, something they want to, and then we build something around that. Uh, and that, that's what I've been doing in my show and in my last tricks and my last creations. I, I, I like less the tricks. I like more the the ideas. Well, then this comes to the next thing. And the last we are finishing because we have been talking for a while here. But when we mentioned about that this could be an investment and yes. you appear in full ass, and then you met uh, Penn and Teller, you didn't know uh, you were not friends before Ulas, no never right? no 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 never, no, never. Um, you uh, or you just announced that you are going to perform with Pengilet in Spain yes what the hell is that <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a long story i will try to make it very short uh, during pandemic, I didn't know Penn and Teller. I, I, I went on Fuller for the first time, not to win, not to, I, I only wanted to, to meet them, to meet them. Like when you are young here, you want to meet Tamarif. I wanted to meet them. I don't want to die without meeting my heroes. I mean, I went there to, I don't need to go there. I was famous in Spain doing magic on television, the best program. I don't need to go to another television and suffer and go to a talent show. I, I don't need it. I, I'm old. I don't need to do it. But I wanted to meet them. And uh, then everything got, was well, okay? When I, when I went back to Vegas to perform with them, because the price, you can go back to perform there, we had there a couple of days, we had uh, interesting conversations and we got along well. And then pandemic came, pandemic. Uh, and during the pandemic, Penn told me if I would speak with him in, in Spanish. He wanted to learn Spanish. And I think, I thought mm, he's not going to make it. He's 66 years, what he told me. No one starts to learn anything, nothing at 66, and less a new language. When you are 66, you don't. When you are a kid, you can. We think that when you're an old, you don't. 
great mistake. But I didn't know how hardworking these fucking bastards are. It's since then, since that day, I thought in one week he will quit. He has been two years. Every day, every single day, Sundays, he has show, he, ha he was ill. Every day, 90 minutes in Spanish. From zero. He was the person, and he doesn't, he's the worst person learning it language. The worst person in the world. He didn't know the word amigo. He didn't know anything. And, and 90 minutes every day learning Spanish. And I'm his Spanish teacher. We talk every week, 90 minutes by Zoom. Every, every, it doesn't matter if I'm vacation, his vacation, his travel, every week. So uh, we got along very well in pandemic. We have laughed a lot and cried together. And uh, he wanted to come to Spain to talk with Tamariz in Spanish, not in English. And he wanted to perform with me in, Sp in Spain, in Spanish, in Spain and in Spanish. Wow. He has, he has already a dinner with Tamari in Spain. I was there. It was one of the most beautiful nights I've ever seen. They were, I was there with two legends talking for hours about music, about juggling, about Camarón, about uh, art. It was he, he, amazing. He were actually speaking in Spanish? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, of course. Hola, amigos. Uh, vamos a Valencia. Y va a ser en español. Sí, sí. Todo en español. Todo. Todo, Todo en español. español. Yeah. I might say motherfucker. <laughs> With his level, I translated some things. Sometimes we went to English, but he understood things. Wow. Uh, he, he was... Uh, well, uh, I remember that. I think that uh, you made a gift to, to the magic community in Spain. Uh... Not only the magic community, <clears throat> sorry, but but much more thing that you create. A, it's very symbolic what you did, bringing him here, uh, giving him this travel around Spain and and this meeting with Juan Tamariz as one of the highlights. But I I can feel that there were more highlights in the trip. Yes, um, and it, it's a, it, this man has gone all over the world and he had. He has said this in his podcast and, and everywhere he goes. It was the best trip, the best trip he has ever done in his life. And and he couldn't believe. I have a video. I have a video when Ben meets Tamariz. He didn't know I was taking because they him. didn't know each other. Did not know or no. It was no no. Uh, Pen didn't know because Pen came here. What are we going to do? And I say aventura, aventura. I immersion total. Eh? Okay. <laughs> and he went one after the other. He could, I took him with Junke to eat a huge paella in the mountain. He was almost crying. He had never eaten so, so good food. He, he didn't believe it. We went to a concert of Fit on Fittipaldi's. Uh, that he, he loved he, him, right? He loved because of two years talking with me. And this is another long story, but he didn't know he was going to see to eat this paella, he didn't know he was going to meet Fito. He loved the concert. He says he's the best concert he has ever seen. Then we went to Madrid. We had dinner with Hector Mancha. He didn't know Hector was coming. So, and then we had supper, dinner, uh, and I didn't tell him with who. And it was with somebody. And Juan, had, Juan knew it, but had forgotten. He didn't remember that Penn knew it or not. And when when he sees Tamari, that video, and I have it, it's amazing. He gets in shock, in shock. And then we were four hours talking. So he came here because uh, four days to my house. And now uh, I told him, but do you really want to perform? Yes, but Penn, uh, let me tell you this. Mm, it's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, you cannot perform in, in Spanish. Yes. 
But are you sure? Yes. Why? And he tells me, because I'm, I'm afraid. This is the most scary thing I'm going to do in my whole life. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So in June, in Valencia, we are going to do three days. And we are going to do a show together, both of us. Some tricks me, some tricks him, and a lot together. And all in Spanish. He's memorizing wow. and he will have to improve. Before going out on stage, he, he's going to be frozen of, of, of cold, of fear, but he's going to make it. And I think it's going to be an event that you have to see. I mean, I don't say it's going to be a well, good I, show. I want to see it. Eh? <laughs> I, I want to see I, I I bend on my knees to please. Uh, I, I need a ticket for that show. Come on. Wow. It's sold out. It's it's sold out. <laughs> oh, not yet. So, but so no. he's going to do. A, and we were in Vegas talking about the shows. I think they're very good bits. Of course, it's not a great show. He can bring some material, not all, of course, little material. I, I, I have my material. We are going to do some things together. And but I think it's going to be really nice to see a man suffering the effort he has done all these years and trying to speak in Spanish. Doing some good bits, we are going to laugh a lot, some good magic, and I think it's something you are not going to see ever. Absolutely. Ben has said this in his podcast, and people from Canada want to come to Valencia to see this show because they know I, yeah, it's going to absolutely. be special. I, I'm sure, I'm sure many people want to see that. And... Yes. And as you mentioned before, we want to see you and, and, and Penn Gillette doing something, you know, uh, we, so strange, so different. We have a couple of bits together that we are going to do in the show. I think very, very funny. And uh, I will, you know me, I will push him on stage and make fun of him and he will make fun <laughs> of me. And I think uh, it's going to be extremely hard for him, extremely hard because it's the first time in Spanish, without Teller, without his material. It's, it's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. Wow. Absolutely. Crazy. And now this bastard will know what is to go to another country to yes. perform yes. <laughs> in yes. a different language. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And I will great. tell him, I will tell him very, very good, but you did not fool me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. I, I, I yes. don't want to miss that. And and you know some when I were in when I meet met them in, in Vegas, yes, uh Penn Gillette told me a story about Spain. He had a bad, a bad experience in Spain. I don't know if you know that. I know it. Horrible. You I know, know the whole story. Well, right? but, so, so but you know the end of the story? Do you know the end of this story? I mean, basically, he got very ill, very ill. They left him there. They went. But do you know what happened yeah. uh, 20 years later? You don't know this. No, I don't know that. I don't know <laughs> you, that. Basically, the, the story is that he was here with a group of musicians, not magicians, talk, musicians, playing, yes. and he got very ill, very ill. They didn't know what happened to him, and they left him there in Barcelona in a hospital. They didn't know what happened He had one he of was. the worst days in his life. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't know what happened, what was going on with him. He didn't speak Spanish. It, it was horrible. It was like a nightmare. Okay. Uh, he wrote that this is the part that many years later, he wrote um, a short novel about this called oh. Pain Addict. Pain Addict. Okay? Very short. Very, very short. But this Pain Addict has become a chapter of Black Mirror in Netflix. There's one chapter called Black what? Museum. <laughs> Black Museum. Go to Netflix and search uh, Black Mirror. There's one chapter, and I think it's the best. I, Black I'm sure Museum. I've seen it. I've seen it. 
Yeah, this Museum, is the museum that is in the middle of nowhere. Yes, I think. Th there are three stories. Three stories. The first story is Penzilet's story of a person, a doctor, that puts a machine and puts in the in the in the ill person, so he knows what's going on with the person. He feels the pain of the other one. That's the story of what happened to Ben. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Yes, yes, That's yes, amazing. Yes, yes. I remember wow. that story. I, I love it. I really love it. Wow! Oh my God! Yeah. Yes, yes. And look, he had the worst time in Spain <laughs> and, and in his life, and then <laughs> when when you bring him here and you invite him and make all these things for him he looked so happy he his face was <laughs> was like a kid uh, his eyes everything was like a kid enjoying as first time something yes and and that's why i wrote to you thank you so much yes. for doing this <laughs> you know even if i'm in sevilla i'm not there but but wow right now i'm feeling really oh it's wow. so great and this story has to be known by everyone uh, for spain i think it's really really important and for the magic world uh, also. So thank you, thank you so oh. much for for doing these incredible things to for for making your ideas, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your crazy ideas, to yeah. bringing your ideas to life. That's uh, that's something you. that you know. Uh, if anybody thinks, oh, I'm gonna bring Pendulet here, and I'm gonna <laughs> make a fight in the mountain. <laughs> you know, the, uh, in the process, uh, everyone will stop at certain point. Come on, <laughs> because some people tell uh, you not to do yeah. that. Come on, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. and you did it. Thank you, thank then, you. So yes, I, I'm gonna get the tickets right now. Okay. So everybody, thank you, my well, friend. You you will have a problem. Everybody I, will go. I there. am go I, I am going to have a serious problem. A serious problem. Yes. The, all, when you do something, it always has uh, consequences. Bad and exactly. good. Exactly. <laughs> Bad and good. Exactly. <laughs>